wine and food matching is is really an art, and um, I think people with lots of exper um, experience um, have um, managed to make some beautiful marriages between certain dishes and, and wines, but there, again, there's not a lot of scientific evidence to support wine and food matching. Um, I have done a few sessions with some um, sommeliers, and so I just want to talk a bit about what the guidelines that they use to look at wine and food matching. Usually they will look at mirroring or matching the flavours between the dish and the wine. Um, they don't want any flavours to dominate one over the other. The wine also needs to be either more sweet or more acidic than the dish itself, otherwise the wine will look um, either flabby or insipid. In general, acidic wines are great with salty food and um, matches like uh, oysters and Chablis, which is a um, um, Chardonnay from France, which has quite high levels of acid and a great combination. Often um, regionality is, is considered and so um, countries that have traditions of making um, wines for hundreds of years and also have the matching cuisine, they, they've probably got it right. So often sommeliers will look at matching um, types of cuisines from a certain region with, with wines that come from the same region. Um, most sommeliers apparently throw up their hands in horror when they have to match bitter foods with um, a corresponding beverage. And often they'll use, um, they'll suggest Coke because it's sweet and will mask the bitterness, or they'll probably look at beer to try and echo the um, bitterness in the food with the beverage. Textural components also need to be taken into consideration when you're matching a dish with wine. And so you, you need to look at the weight of the food. So if um, you've got a, um, a light um, chicken dish, maybe with some fresh lemongrass, which is a long, long way from um, a heavy coq au vin, for instance, you would be looking at matching a different wine for those two dishes. And additionally, flavour intensity you need to be aware of as well. So um, foods that are very rich, in, in flavour need to have wines that similarly can match um, the um, flavour intensity. Also cooking methods are going to alter the food quite significantly as well. Um, so for example, um, um, grilling a meal is going to give you some different burnt caramelised kind of characteristics which you need to sort of echo mm -hmm. in the wine as well. And also, um, it'd be great to, it's great to sort of match your steaks with maybe a, a lovely red wine, but then if you go and put a different sauce on top, you need to consider what flavours are in the sauce as well when you're matching the wine. And we've got um, two cheeses and two wines. So there should be cheese A, which is CA, and wine A, which is WA. And if you can um, take a small um, bite of cheese A and then while that cheese is in the mouth, take a sip of wine A and then um, chew and evaluate um, that combination. And then on the first scale, if you can mark a vertical line, like I've just indicated with that pink line, it doesn't have to be on the divisions that are on the scale, it can be anywhere on the, on the scale. Um, the central point is the ideal match, whether you think that's the perfect match, or um, the left end of the scale, um, you can indicate whether you think the cheese dominates the wine, and the right end of the scale is whether the wine is dominating the cheese. Does the cheese dominate? Does the wine dominate? The cheese dominates, you think? So that is uh, cheese A was the Parmigiano Reggiano, which as we know is very high in glutamate.
It originates from the Emilia Romana um, province in Italy, which is in the central north part of Italy. It's it's made from um, cows cows milk. It's it's partially skimmed so that the milk comes from the morning milking and also from the milking the night before, which is naturally skimmed. So it's a partially skimmed milk product. It uses calf rennet to um, and it has a fat content of about 30%. It's classified as a hard cheese and they're generally matured for two to seven years. And then um, the, with, with the parmesan, they're, they're quite dry in texture because the curds are cut very fine, which allows a lot of the whey moisture to be extracted. Um, and then they're um, bound together and um, the combination of cutting the curds very fine and also the, the long aging period gives you a very dry, um, a hard cheese. And it's also very salty because these cheeses are then put in brine tanks for three weeks to um, take up salt. So the wine that we've matched with that is a Coriol Sangiovese and as you can see it comes from um, Sangiovese as you may be aware makes up Chianti wine which most people know about and that comes from a region just below um, the Emilia Romagna in, in Tuscany. Um, Coriol make it in a very traditional manner. They use open fermenters, they hand plunge to get lots of colour from these wines and they use old oak uh, hogs heads because they don't want to get a lot of oak character. Commonly Sangiovese has these cherry characteristics and um, high acidity and fine grainy tannin. So was it a match made in heaven? So if you look at the, um, the anecdotal evidence of how these, um, this particular wine and cheese should match or marry, um, as I said Sangiovese is naturally high in acid so it should echo um, the apparent acidic character in that cheese. The spicy cherry notes should also echo the um, often pineapple fruity characters that you can get from these parmesans. We, we talked before about salty food matching acidic wines. Do you think it was a good match with regards to the salt and acid? Yeah. And the grainy texture of the cheese. As I said, um, it's quite grainy because uh, it's brined for quite some time. So you've actually got those little flecks of salt um, in the cheese. It gives it a grainy texture and that should match the grainy tannins of the Sangiovese. Okay, so that, that was a, a long hard exercise. You've done very well being sensory scientists tonight. So um, enjoy the rest of the wine and cheese um, and thank you very much.